Alexander Zverev versus Karin Hashinov is the gold medal match for the Olympics for 2021. And both players have been super impressive to get to the final stage. Hashinov started out the tournament as the 12th seed and will take on the local hope Nishioka in the first round. And after dropping the first set, he rebounded to win in three, three, six, six, one, six, two. His second round matchup was against the Australian Duckworth. And after a close first set, Hashinov got through in straight sets 7-5, 6-1. His third round opponent would be the number eight seed, Diego Schwartzman. And after losing the second set, Hashinov destroyed Schwartzman in the third, prevailing in three sets, 6-1, 2-6, 6-1. In the quarterfinals, he would take on the 14th seed, Umber. And after winning a close first set and losing the second, it went down to the wire with Hashinov prevailing in three, 7-6, 4-6, 6-3. His semi-final opponent would be the number six seed, Karino Busta, who had just beaten Medvedev to get to the semi-final stage. And although Busta did have a couple of chances, Hashinov was too big and too strong, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3, to advance to the gold medal match. Alexander Zverev entered the tournament as the number four seed and would take on Lou in the first round. This was no trouble for Zverev, who got through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-3. His second round matchup was against Gallen, the Colombian. And again, an easy win for Zverev in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. His third round opponent was against the tricky Basilashvili, who had just come off beating the 13th seed, Sonigo. And even though the second set was tight, Zverev again got through in straight sets, 6-4, 7-6. His quarterfinal opponent was against the unseeded Jeremy Shardy. And after a close first set, Zverev blew the Frenchman away in the second set, getting through in straight, 6-4, 6-1. His semi-final opponent, the world number one, Novak Djokovic. And both players had not lost a set to get to that semi-final stage. And after going down in the first set and a breakdown in the second, Zverev rebounded and in the end destroyed the world number one, prevailing in three sets, 1-6, 6-3, 6-1, to advance to the gold medal match. These two have played four times before with a head-to-head -head split straight down the middle, two wins apiece. But Hashinov has won the last two matches, and those two matches have been on hard court. So it's going to be interesting to see how Zverev can rebound after having the best win of his life against Novak Djokovic. And he hasn't got a great record against Hashinov on the hard courts. If Hashinov's going to win, he needs to serve well, and he needs to control the points with his forehand. That's what beat Karino Buster in the semifinals. He dictated the points with his forehand, and he needs that weapon to be working against Sasha. If Zverev's going to win, he also needs to serve well and use the ground strokes. It's going to be a battle of who can get the initiative on the baseline, who can step up and actually use the baseline to their advantage and dictate the points. Whoever gets on the front foot first is going to get rewarded, and Zverev needs to do that. This is a really tough matchup for me to pick because both players are very good on the hard courts. We've seen that this week. They both had really big wins as well, and they've both got a head-to-head -head record that's split down the middle at two apiece, and they're very, very similar styles. Big serves, big forehands, same height as well. So they're very, very even. It's like a mirror matchup, but I'm going to go with Zverev to win this one. I think beating Djokovic has really put him into a good mindset and to get the gold medal because he played a great match against Djokovic, rebounding from a set down, and I reckon he can do the same against Hashinov. I think Hashinov will get a little bit nervous, and I think Zverev will take the gold. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the gold medal?